And they look at me and they're like, what are you doing now? And I'm like, doing what I love. So we hear this word used around Coke, self-actualization. Self-actualizing is, is understanding who you are at your very core and then working to improve, working to get better at the things that you're already good at. Self-actualization is being willing to take a risk on yourself and it's, it, it can be scary. That maybe is the light bulb moment, Jen, is the idea that doing what you're good at is fulfilling. Yeah, did you feel like there was anything ever that, um, like a moment where you realized, oh, you know, I'm good at math and science? I mean, what was that moment? I loved school. I loved science. Um, I loved to read. And I remember writing in a, looking back in a notebook as a second grader saying, I wish I didn't have to miss school on Saturday and Sunday. I was always you know, kind of wondering, you know, how things worked and stuff. Uh, I was my, I was the one that when uh, my dad got a garage door opener, you know, and I was about 12 and I was like, well, that sounds like fun. Let's install the garage door opener today. As a kid, I never envisioned myself being a global product manager but I always knew that I would be doing something in the science and technology industry. I always had an interest in environmental and I didn't have any education or background in environmental, but they had an opening. I just, I went, I talked to the hiring manager. Some people it takes them a long time to, <laughs> to eventually figure out what that right. thing is. Yes. It only took me 25 years to get to innovation. so. Uh, I think when you're a young engineer and, and you come into a new role, I don't think everyone even understands what all the opportunities are. I think I have a really good example in my own life. So when I was a kid, I enjoyed interviewing people. I had okay. my own talk show and I, <laughs> I, <love> I, it. <laughs> I interviewed everybody and That's it great. was a thing that we did at slumber parties. Yeah, I mean, I think it's about opportunity, right? And exposure. I think there's a lot of companies where Individuals may feel fear in communicating, hey, I, I like what I'm doing, but maybe I want to do something else. Um, folks are limited to a very structured role. Um, and at Coke, we, we don't do that. We look at what your individual skills and talents are and create roles around you. I literally have been able to find that in my career. And how cool is it for me to be able to change entire industries you know, 25 years into my career. I've been afforded that opportunity to lead people and work with and through others, and that's something I'm good at. A career is not always up and to the right. Look, you've got to do things that really bring you joy. Don't let your own fears hold you back from stepping out into different opportunities because they're there, and, you know, reach out and grab them. I, when, I, when I was teaching my kids how to ride a bike, I would just say over and over again, keep pedaling, keep pedaling. You know, keep pedaling through fear is, is how I get through it.